Welcome back to part 7, everybody. So I got a little treat for you. About 45 seconds into this fast forward, I'm going to play the fire sale song, just so you guys can hear it. I don't believe it is in any of the other videos. Like, It's very hard to hear. Like, you got to stand right by it. It's not like the normal fire sale song that you can kind of hear everywhere. It's really loud. So I just put it into this episode so you guys could hear it for yourselves and see what you guys think. I love this song. It's probably one of the better songs in all of the Call of Duty. So here it goes in a few seconds. So this is the last sequence that we have to do before beating the four times of Simon Says. And like, as you can see, it's pretty long. And then here you guys should listen closely to what Dr. Maxis has to say. Ah, my shit! Now that I am in control of the station, we have one last chance to sever Edward's link with Earth. I will calculate the position. Retrieve the artifact and take it to the launch platform. So what he's talking about is that little ball, and he wants it retrieved to the pyramid, which is the launch platform. So to do this, you're just going to toss a Gersh device at it, and undead havocs and undead rocks are just bringing the zombie away from the Gersh device so he doesn't get sucked in and dead so we can actually watch this so that's the thing that he was talking about kind of see the ball float up there too, but I'll be quiet now. So once these rockets impact, everyone's going to get all eight perks if you weren't fortunate to be Richtofen. So if this is your first time completing the Easter egg, you'll get the Big Bang Theory achievement worth 100 gamer uh, score. That's it. Seriously, all that work and all we did was blow up the Earth. What the fuck? I want my body back, and I'll destroy that evil Richtofen for taking Daddy away. As you can hear, now Richtofen's voice is Samantha, so Samantha and Richtofen has switched places. So when you get a bomb or something, it is now Richtofen saying it. Actually not a bomb, a bomb is just some random guy with the double points and the carpenter insta-kill. Thank <laughs> you. 
An SFG! Perfect! I don't need to aim anymore! Boom! Wrecked! Hurt you! More than you hurt me! Baron Nikolai commands you to die! For a bias I guess there you gotta hear a bit of the song, but it's better to just hear the whole thing that I have at the start of the video. Yeah, so there's not much happening now. I think we're just gonna go as high as we can, as far as we can in this game. And I can assure you, there are definitely still a lot more parts to open up, or uh, a lot more parts for me to upload. We go quite far. I think I just ended up getting tired because it was a pretty long game, at least three hours we've been going for. It's so much fun playing with no perks. Oh, another thing you might have noticed there is once you've completed the Easter egg, since the zombies are now controlled by Richtofen and not Samantha, all their eyes are green, which is like really cool. It's just something cool that they added. This is one of the best maps for sure. Like everything in it, the hacker device, just the Easter egg was so awesome. The only thing with the Easter egg is it required you to do all the other Easter eggs. The one in Call of the Dead, the Shangri-La, and then Moon. I'm glad you didn't have to do the uh, Ascension one, because that one's just... It isn't really that fun. You get nothing good out of it, like a 90 second death machine. You get that in this one, and it isn't really hard to do. You can get the 90 second death machine just on solo. Oh, so another thing is, we definitely left that excavator to go down because for some reason, once you let both excavators go down, 
you can still get the achievement to like get trapped in the receiving bay and be resurrected through or or find some ammo. be resurrected through co-op play or something like that. But this is getting towards the end of the video, so as always, comment, rate, subscribe. Talk to you later. Peace.